hello everyone now today we are going to see the cam profile so in the previous lecture we have seen the different types of displacement diagram of the follower and from that displacement diagram now we have to draw the cam profile so here first cam profile is for the radial follower so what is radial follower here if you see this is the roller follower and the center line of this roller follower is in line with the center line of this cam axis so such type of follower are called as roller follower so for the given problem for the cam here we will be knowing the base circle that is the minimum radius of the cam will represent the base circle and here if you see this is the roller so this point will be trace point this one is center point of the roller and this is the diameter of the roller so here whatever the circle which is passing through the trace point is nothing but the prime circle so here for this problem as we know you are the sense of rotation of the cam will be clockwise so the profile obtained will be in the opposite side of the cam so initially 120 degree is the angle of rise 30 is the dwell and rest of the 60 is the angle of descent so here if you are making the displacement diagram division for rise and fall into six or eight equal parts that divisions will be directly reflected in this profile diagram here if you see here the prime circle will be now divided into six equal part and same case for the dwell part uh, sorry for the return part the dwell there is no need of uh, dividing because at this dwell position your profile will be means your that follower will be at constant position there will be no any motion so now from the displacement diagram directly you have to take the distance from that point 1 to 1 or 2 to 2 whatever the notations you have made in the displacement diagram and then after that after plotting the distance on this projections that we are taking from 1 to 2 3 and 4 directly you will get the trace point for that roller and from this uh, trace point you will now plot the diameter of the rollers and now with the help of french curve just you have to take the lower part of the roller area so as to plot the cam profile so in this way for the radial follower we can prepare the cam profile next one is the offset follower so here for the offset follower what we are getting in this offset follower there will be either offset from right side or left side there will be offset either from right or left okay then afterwards in this case uh, we have to draw the the first part will be same prime circle base circle will be there and here only we have to draw the offset circle so in this offset circle what we have to do So here, after drawing the offset circle, just join O to A. So from this reference line, you have to take the angle of rise, dwell, and return angle. So instead of now here, the projections, if you see, initially they were from the center point, but now here again you have to divide the prime circle into six or eight equal parts, whatever the division you have made in the displacement diagram. And now here the projections will be tangent to this offset circle. Instead of taking it from the center point O, the projections will be tangent to this offset circle. and now same you have to take the displacement of the follower each and every point from 1 to 1 to 2 to 2 respective points and you have to plot this this displacement of that follower on this projections and from that projections means from the distance you have to draw the lower or whole portion of the follower roller and then from that lower part with the help of french curve you will be drawing the cam profile so this is the basic difference between radial follower and offset follower now in the next part if you see here next will be what flat face follower the flat face follower the trace point will be the on the base circle same you have to divide the rise dwell return there is no need of division of dwell but we have to just divide the rise angle and return angle and now you have to just take the display uh, distance from the displacement diagram and you have to mark it on this projections here if you have to whatever distance you are taking from that base circle you have to draw the perpendicular line to this projections why perpendicular because if you see the flat face follower here the face of the follower is perpendicular to the center line of the follower or cam axis so that's why we are just drawing the perpendicular to this projections line and you have to with the help of french curve we will be taking the lower portion of the lines coming in contact and you have to just draw a smooth profile here so this is the flat face follower means plotting of cam profile for the flat face follower now next profile is nothing but the for cam profile for the oscillating follower so in this oscillating follower here first of all you have to just draw the base circle that is the minimum radius of the cam then next thing you have to first of all plot this pivot point location 
in the problem now it is given as 20 degree so you have to just mark 20 degree angle and this distance from pivot and center point of the cam is given in the statement so you have to just mark radius and from this radius you have to mark this distance of the fulcrum or the arm point at this part a point then afterwards same from the pivot point from this pivot point you have to draw the reference line and from this reference line you have to take the angles that is angle of rise 12 and return so here particular this is the angle of rise this is the angle of return there will be no any dwell part here 120 is the rise and 120 is the return part there will be no any dwell dwell position is zero so here after uh, plotting the rise and return angle same you have to just divide the this prime circle as this is a roller diameter so this this will be trace point from this stress point whatever the circle we are drawing that is the prime circle so through this prime circle again you have to divide this angle into six equal part after ma making the six equal part you have to just draw the projections here we are making the six equal part where on the pivot circle not on the uh, this prime circle so the on the pivot circle you have to mark the projections and from these projections with the help of the compass you have to take the distance from the displacement diagram and mark an arc which will be cutting the which circle prime circle that arc will be cutting the prime circle and after uh, taking this that arcs will be common distance that will be the length of the fulcrum part that will be common from 1 to 12 or 1 to 6 dash and from that arc cutting the prime circle on that arc you have to plot the displacement of the follow and the rest part will be same you will be able to draw the roller part lower lower portion of the roller and with the help of french curve we will be plotting the cam profile so in this way we will be plotting the cam profile for the oscillating follower thank you